I see a snow plow behind you. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. It's as closest to the action as we've gotten to a snowplow all morning. It's just a private one. We're here in Renton at the Maplewood Golf Course, just off of Renton Maple Valley Road here. Um, the snow is actually taking a little bit of a break, but it is still coming down. And like we've been saying all morning, it's definitely that more wet. It, it definitely feels a little bit of that wetter snow. It's a little bit fluffier. Um, so I, it's definitely making the roads a little bit more slick. We actually haven't seen too many cars on the roads. People are really kind of staying home. I heard you say that maybe earlier and we can attest to that here in Renton. People are staying home unless they really have to go out. We just spoke with a woman that was trying to make her way out of the neighborhood, getting gas before she headed out to work. Take a listen to what she had to say. I'm a labor and delivery nurse, so got to deliver those babies, but we we're always short staff, so we have to get to work if we can try. So just a reminder, if you really don't have to go anywhere, don't. Of course, people delivering babies need to. Now, we just saw a bus go down. I don't know if you saw that bus, but we just saw a bus. It's another reminder that King County Metro is actually operating on reduced bus routes for their emergency network. They're reduced to about 60 buses down here. So something to keep in mind, go slow. Don't leave the house if you don't have to. And if you do, check the bus routes to make sure your particular bus, bus is running. That's what it's looking like here in Renton. I know Amy is further up north in Linwood. I believe. Amy, where are you and what's it looking like? Yeah, we are here in Linwood on 164th Street Southwest. This hill is really proving to be a trouble spot. You were saying it's not busy where you are. This is turning out to be a very busy street. This Camry you're seeing back up, it's actually struggling to get up this hill. And then just behind it, you see another car with its flashing lights on. It's actually stuck in a car in front of it. It appears that person's got a cable and they're trying to pull that car up. We have watched trucks, cars, several of them get stuck here. That's because this this hill is difficult. It's pretty steep and a lot of cars by the time they get up here, they're losing their momentum. Um, I've watched the plow come up this hill. They are doing their best, but if you don't have four wheel drive, even when a road has been plowed, um, you may not have enough momentum to get up a major street like this. And, and we're watching the tires spin on some of these just because it has been snowing out here. And underneath that snow, there's the ice from the storm earlier this week. This snow is wetter and we've had a bit of a rain and snow mix, but it's, it's, un, it's got ice underneath and the conditions out here are just not good. If you don't have four wheel drive, you're going to struggle and it's causing some dangerous situations out here. So something really to be aware of. Linwood police have even tweeted to be careful out on the roads this morning and it's it's causing some problems out here. We just had some pedestrians walk through. Uh, they were actually walking out in the roadway to try and avoid some of this and somebody almost hit them. So. Please be careful out here, even on some of these major roads that plows have gone down because um, this person's actually driving over a median now. So you have to be careful. Back to you, Mimi. Yeah, it actually makes me nervous, Amy, when I see people walking in the snow just because they're not going to be able to control the cars that are out of control near them. And you don't know what will happen just like that car behind you. Yeah, it was a scene right here. There was a, a pedestrian coming up the roadway. You could actually see the tracks. They were technically walking in the road, even though this is a sidewalk right here. They were coming up. A car was trying to avoid the situation over here where that person is being helped and a car trying to go around it almost hit the pedestrian, honked at them, but that pedestrian needed to get really over onto the sidewalk. It's, and you know, these cars, um, they lose momentum going up this hill if they don't keep going, but it, it's just not a great situation out here. And, okay, so you're in Linwood. What street is that behind you? 164th Street Southwest. Okay. We're near Ashway. It's really close to I-5. There's a big park and ride right here that is yeah. very popular. This is a, a pretty major thoroughfare. And you know, for people who do have to get to work, it's an important way to get through. And some people, I think, know that this does get plowed. And we've seen a plow go down. And you can tell it's been worked on. But if you don't have four-wheel drive, you're going to struggle to get up this. And the snow just keeps falling, so that uh, doesn't help. All right, Amy, thank you very much for that report. And check out the size of the flakes that fell in Seattle around 4 o'clock this morning right outside of our studios. Yep, big, big fat flakes. Actually really pretty if you don't have to be out and driving in it. We actually even saw some icicles forming on the fountain outside of our building. That is how cold it is out there.